Hello, my name is Cecilia Dobbs Walton and I'm the Public Affairs Specialist for the City of Bluxy. I'm here to deliver today's Be Prepared report. This is being recorded on Friday, May the 29th, 2020 at 2.45 in the afternoon. Today, the Mississippi State Department of Health reports that in the past 24 hours, 418 new cases of the coronavirus were identified throughout the state. This is now the largest number of cases reported by the department since tolling began on March the 11th. The department also reports 17 new deaths, with four of those occurring between May 11th and May 15th. This chart shows you the overall total since the crisis began. This chart shows the daily comparison of new cases reported in the state over the past 14 days. In Harrison County, Four new cases were reported in the past 24 hours and no new deaths. This chart shows the 14-day trend in Harrison County. In Jackson County, an adjustment was made in the number of cases reported from yesterday. The number of cases went down one from 303 to 302. No new deaths were reported and no new cases or deaths were reported in Hancock County. We are continuously seeing businesses, recreational facilities, and others open back up, and even events are taking place, with guidelines of course. Today and Saturday, the King Master Fishing Tournament is taking place at the Point Cadet Marina. Event organizers have safety precautions in place to assist with crowd control. These include barricades, no bleachers for groups to sit and hang out on, and security. Biloxi Police Major Krista Beck asks that spectators be mindful of social distancing. Wash your hands often, and if you feel sick, please stay at home. On Monday, the Biloxi Natatorium will be open for adult swimming. I am here with Jamie Lee, he's the Recreation Superintendent for the Biloxi Parks and Recreation Department, and he maintains the city's two pools. But starting Monday, one of those two pools are going to open. Welcome to the show and tell us a little bit about what you're expecting to do next that. week. Appreciate um, that. Yeah, it's, you know, it's going to be a learning process for all of us. Um, we are opening up the natatorium Monday morning at 5 a.m. and we'll be open until 8 p.m. Um, regular hours, but there will be some guidelines in place that we're going to have to follow. So you're going to be open weekdays or weekends? Monday through Friday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. And then is it going to be open for adults, kids? Only right now, um, you know, we're trying to look at different phases like everything else that's going on. This will be our first phase, um, and it will be only 18 and over for lap swimming only. And I know because of, of course, COVID-19 and all these guidelines, you already have some guidelines in place. So whenever the patrons come to swim, they're going to come in a different way. They're going to see a little bit different setup. Right, right. Um, you know... Our, our biggest goal is the safety of the patrons and as well as our staff. So, you know, we are going to monitor the social distancing, got to stay, everything needs to be at least six feet apart. And so what we are going to implement is only one swimmer per lane, which they will enter in through the Southwest double doors. If anybody who's been there before, when we had the work going on in the office area, that was the same way they would enter. And then we have also a separate exit point to where they will exit on the patio and follow the walkway around and exit through one of our gates. So there will be two different separate entry and exit points. And then what about, I know a lot of people will go to the natatorium and they swim before they go to work. They need to prepare this time because they're not going to be able to use the right. shop, um, correct? Right. There's, there's just no possible way that we can you know keep up with the social distancing in the shower and locker room areas so you know it's just one of the one of the things we've got to deal with right now please come to the pool prepare to swim with your suit on there will be no changing areas when you get there or when you leave bring bring an extra towel bring up a, a garbage bag or something you can sit on in your car i mean different things like that as long as you're prepared and you know when you get there ready to go and then you know leave the same way you came then then that's just what we got to do right now. And then you have a lot of equipment there, but I would say during this time, they're probably not going to be able to use that. Correct. correct. Um, you know, like I said, we're very limited right now and people just have to bear with us. You know, we're, we're going to do our best throughout all this. Um, you know, no equipment will be available, separate entry exit points, no dressing rooms, um, one person per lane, alternating sides. And if, if it gets to the point where we're, getting full capacity we will limit an hour timeline based upon the time you got there so that 
you know you need to be prepared for that as well. Okay, and then what about whenever they come? You know, do they sign in, some people have passes, some people pay, how are y'all handling that? Um, you need to make sure that you have, you know, if you can have exact change, if you don't have a pass, which is $3, that would be, you know, helpful toward us. That way we're not, you know, you can just give us your money. We're not exchanging yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, showing your pass. Um, the patrons will not actually be responsible for signing in. All of our staff is going to take care of that in the sign-in book, time, name, so on and so forth. What do you say to someone I know that we've actually had a lot of people that have uh, messaged us in the city. They're anxious to get back to the pool. They're anxious to swim. What do you say for those that want to do it but maybe are a little scared? What about the safety precautions and the chemicals in the water and how safe is it to swim? You know, um, research has suggested that, you know, we, we keep our pools properly maintained on a steady basis. So therefore, we, we as a pool professional we are not worried at all about the water like i said it's more about what happens when you're out of the water that's one of the reasons why we're doing this one person per lane right now alternating sides putting a spot that you can or designated areas that you can put your things when you're there then we're going to disinfect and sanitize those as soon as you leave it's just it's just part of the process right now and and you know, I think, I think really everything is going to work out. I, I really think, you know, from what we've been hearing people calling, like you said, it, it's a little inconvenience for patrons because they, they're not able to change, you know, when they get there or shower or, you know, change before they leave. And that, like I said, that's just something we're going to have to deal with and overcome right now. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully, you know, in the future we can maybe start you know opening back up limitedly for showers things like that but right now we just we just need to take that chance right now true true so just make sure that you uh, plan that your schedule a little bit to get there a little bit early leave a little bit early if you have to go home get ready for work or run any errands just to make sure to shower and change um, also what about swim teams we've had a lot of people that have right. asked us about those do you have any that, idea of when that's gonna this, i guess that would probably be in the next one of the next two phases yeah that that's go. you know that's kind of what we're we're anticipating um you know we just need to see what's going to happen just like with anything else i think you know in the next couple of weeks that'll be that'll be a telltale sign of you know what's going on hopefully hopefully you know we're moving in the right direction um but as of right now no groups no swim teams no recreational swim it's just you know we just we just can't do that right now true but it's still be open for people to swim get some recreation activity going on to do laps um, is it going to be lap swimming and then can um, people come in and walk? Are you going to have all the lanes um, yeah, set up yeah. for all the lanes? You're still going to have a shallow and deep end? You know, we're, we're, we're going to allow, um, you know, the people to come in and walk and do their exercises, but they're going to have to follow the same guidelines as the lap swimmers. Everybody in the facility needs to be aware of what's going on, you know, the social distancing guidelines. Um, and we're going to have, you know, our staff will be there and helping people out throughout this um one of the things that you know we need to watch out for as well is you know what happens when the when the pool's full mm -hmm. you know um we're not taking any type of reservations over the phone at this time okay. um once you get there and if the pool's full we will have a list there to put your name on if you are physically there okay however we're not allowing any spectators or anybody waiting in the facility Okay. while that so you know you'll need to do you'll need to make plans of doing something else whether that's in your car you know you can't be hanging out in the parking lot you know different things no like gathering that out there no gatherings not, out yeah. there you know um so we're recommending to people you know call us and we'll kind of let you know look you know but but we're, we're catering to the people who are physically there first and foremost yeah thank you so much anything else you want to let the public know about the pool um no you know just just the same thing as everywhere if you're feeling ill if you have any of the symptoms, please don't come out. Wait, wait until you know you're cleared of all that, because we don't want to put any of our other patrons in danger nor ourselves. So, you know, just take time. Hopefully, we can remain open and you know start listening to restrictions as we go forward. But you know, right now, look, just stay home and and don't put us or yourself in danger. Yeah, well, it's, it's exciting to open up. You know, seeing more things to open up. If anybody wants to contact you or the night storm, how will they get in touch with you? Um, just basically call us that you know um 228-435-6205 someone will be there like i said beginning monday 
from 5 p.m. or 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, right now, you know, we're we're in preparation of getting the facility ready. We're hoping to have that done midday today, and then and then be back first thing Monday morning, ready to go. Sounds good, bro. Appreciate it. It's exciting, and all the information is also on the city's website at biloxi.ms.us to to. Uh, Get Jamie Lee's email, which is jaylee at biloxi.ms.us and the telephone number, which you gave earlier. I appreciate it. This is exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Please remember, while things continue to open up and you enjoy the beautiful Mississippi Gulf Coast, continue to follow CDC guidelines of social distancing, wash your hands often, and avoid touching surfaces and your face while in public. Also, wear a face mask when needed. That's the message for today. Remember, there will be no Be Prepared videos over the weekend, so we will see you again on Monday. We leave you today with scenes of the Small Craft Harbor. The video was created for the city in 2018.